goodies I didn't write, so I think responsibility. Ready to roll? Okay. Let's do it. As one of the leading names in the underground hardcore metal movement, how do you think the recent success of overground heavy metal has affected the fortunes of more brash underground bands like yourself? <laughs> uh, what was that? <laughs> um, I think in a way it's brought sort of more attention to the whole scene as in general. I think the resurgence in metal that took place about two years ago just brought a lot of the underground stuff sort of into the limelight too and we seem to luckily enough be the front runners of that whole underground thing. Why do you think across the board the faster younger bands are being overlooked? Um, I think because a lot of the younger bands don't really have anything too original or new to offer. They just do and repeat things that have really already been done, you know, five years ago by other bands. And that's where I think we're a little different because we try and put as much originality and, and sort of just different things into what we do than most other new bands. Most new bands try to just follow really what's already been done. And we um, try and just put our own new thing into it as much as we can. <laughs> Well, I, there hasn't really been any major lineup changes since we recorded the first album. There was a bit of reshuffling going on in the beginning before we actually recorded the first album. So, um, I mean, the overall sound hasn't really changed that much. I think the only thing that changed a bit was that when Kirk and Cliff joined the band, they uh, contributed it to the songwriting end of things, which the two other members didn't in the early days. How would you describe the difference between the caliber sound and what? Let's talk describe, a little louder. What's the difference between <laughs> your sound and other sounds like some of the other bands here today? Uh, well, a bit more extreme, I'd say. Not so safe sounding. You know, go for a little, you know, heavier sound. <laughs> we just do pretty much what we want to do, and I think that the kids can really see that there's no sort of bullshit or anything going on. What they see is really what we're about, and that's why I think a lot of people can really relate to what we do. How do you react to the accusations? Ah, oh, they're just playing fast. They don't know what they're playing. People can think whatever they want to think. We know what we do, and we like what we do, and... and who cares? Yeah. <laughs> Next. Why do you think Europe and England are more open to hardcore metal? Well, it started over there. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. It's, I think it's got something to do with the way that in Europe that you get bigger and build yourself up. It's more through touring and more through like the word of mouth and like the street buzz. Where in America, you know, to break out of the underground, you have to depend a lot on radio and depend a lot on videos and so forth. When Europe, it's more just a touring thing and a, a lot of press, you know. And you know, we're not on a major label in Europe, but. You know, just by touring a lot and just sort of the street bus that comes out of that, you know, you don't really need to be on a major label in Europe to break out of the underground. Well, Europe is so much smaller and yeah, it's just awesome. the, the radio is really nothing over there. So it's just the word of mouth. Why does Metallica never record in video? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, it's like in the music business these days, there's this whole thing going around with when you release an album, then the first cut that's released to the radio station, you have to go do a video for that. And the question at the end of the day is why? <laughs> and with MTV cutting back on metal, like which they did back in January anyway, the chances of Metallica video being seen to uh, any big number of people anywhere was so slim. And we just rely more on our live performances and just on sort of that sort of whole thing, you know, down to earth image or whatever. Why do you guys not need to get dressed up or made up like the We are. <laughs> See? Uh, well, I don't, we, there's no need for it really. Uh, I think it goes along with our music. It's just, you know, no frills, just go for it, you know. Uh, no really any kind of false, you know, image or anything to bring across. Our music is very natural, so we should, you know, wear what feels natural to us on the stage or what's, you know, comfortable. Instead of, you know, thousands of chains hanging off or something, you know. 
I mean, for us, the music is like the main thing, and image or how we look or whatever, that's pretty much the last thing. Can you start that again? Sure. I just noticed the camera was on its way. So start with the music. Right. For us, the music is like the main thing with what we do, how we look or what kind of image that people sort of see in us or whatever. That, I mean, that they can worry about that. <laughs> we just worry about our music, which is really how we get you know, our kicks from playing and um, we swear what comes with that, you know? And uh, that's really all there is to it. <laughs> How do gigs like today's Dan Green and Don Park compare to the gigs as usual? Uh, there's more people here. <laughs> more um, bands. <laughs> yeah, there's more bands. There's more people ligging in the backstage area. <laughs> I don't know. It's another gig yeah. to us, really. No it's special like, things going on. You know, we play yeah. the same if we play in front of 600 people or 60,000. We just go out because we enjoy what we do so much that there's not really, it's not difficult to get really excited about if there's only a thousand people because we get excited from what we play. And so, you know, it's just another show. Of course, you know, there's a bit more sort of excitement in the area, but I mean, in a way, when we hit the stage, the same thing goes on as at any other show. What differentiates Metallica from the other bands who are here today? I don't know. Why don't you find out? <laughs> I think we have something different to offer than most of the other bands that are doing the rounds Do you today. Do want to start that over? No. I think, Metallica <laughs> um, I think we have something different to offer than most of the other bands that are around today in terms of in image and in sort of the way we play and what we do. You know, where most of the stuff that's around today, like James was saying earlier, is so safe. And um, there seems to be a big market for the kind of stuff we do, which is just play what we want for ourselves. And people can sort of, uh, there seems to be a big audience that can get into that. We're sort of like one step, we're like furthest out in like left field pretty much from the middle of any of the sort of bigger heavy metal bands today. You know, sort of as unsafe as you can get. <laughs> and. Um, and we get away with it. <laughs> what differentiates Metallica from other hardcore bands like the Slayers, the Megadeths, etc. Et <laughs> <Well. laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> what difference? Um, yeah, if, if Slayer was playing one end of town, you were playing on the other end of town. Why would I see you? I don't know. Or should I go see Maybe that? you're not into Satan. I mean, I think a lot of these bands um, catch on to a lot of the cliches that are going on in heavy metal today. We try and, and shy away from as many of them as we can while still, still doing the sort, I mean, in heavy metal, everything's already been done before, but we're trying to avoid as many of the cliches as we can. And I think some of the under, other speed metal bands and sort of underground thrash metal bands are just taking in all these cliches and it gets so unexciting or interesting. Plus, I think also from a musical standpoint, we have a bit more to offer, just from the point of view that we try and put as much into the music as we can in terms of, of the song arrangings and song writings and tempo changes and stuff like that. And I think we're also maybe a little bit more serious musicians than most of these other bands. So sort of all of that thrown in together, there's Metallica. <laughs> oh, well.